Okay, we're going to take a quick look at Warwick Farm Race 2 on Wednesday. Um, decent value betting race here where we can back two at value long shot double figure odds um, to potentially overturn their more fancied rivals. If we go and have a look at the market quickly, um, the market leader is Sir Bailey at 4.20, followed by Don Pedro 4.8. Outsider at 4.8 and Kabaka at 5.0. But the two that we want to be backing here are the two turn up the night at 11.0 and also the five all hello tide at 16.0, 3.7. Um, we can nibble at both of these on an each way basis for a result across the race. <clears throat> we'll just go and take a look at this race in a bit more detail. Um, 1600 meter, 60k, uh, benchmark 64, three year old and four year olds. Um, likely to be run at a moderate to even tempo. Uh, Don Pedro gets him fairly badly weighted going from 52 and 52 and a half at its last two starts up to 61 kg. Uh, the first one that we're going to highlight is the two turn up the night. Um, currently double figure odds as I said. Lightly raced well bred improver um, by Per Encanto out of the O'Reilly Mare Great Expectations. Comes off a last start win at Bathurst where it lumped 61 and a half to knock off Shikishi and Miss Biggles, Mrs. Bigglesworth. Um, drops to 60 kg today. Uh, hinted at good ability on debut for the Nisham Yard when it won on the 13th of January, knocking off Hull to the Queen and Speak Up over 1,200 metres. Strong through the line, won by 0.62 of a length, suggesting this 1,600 metre trip is going to suit even better. Uh, so does this last start win at Bathurst. If we just go and have a look at the breeding of this one quickly... Fairly well bred. Um, the dam of this one, the O'Reilly Mare, great expectations. She won two from four in a short career in New Zealand, was second at her other two starts, suggesting stakes quality on the mate before injury cut short her career. The second dam, the Centaine Mare, hideaway. She was unraced, but if you trace back to the third dam, I slept. She was a stakes winner herself. She won twice at listed level, over 1,600 and 1,400. Further, further franking the theory that this one's going to get a strong 1,600. And Taupo Retreat was a Group 1 winner in South Africa. Um, Taupo Retreat is also by Centaine, making the dam of this one, or the second dam of this one, a full sister to the South African Group 1 winner. So that's always a good sign. Now, if we go and take a look through the last start win of this one where it knocked off Shikishi and Mrs. Bigglesworth over 1,400 at Bathurst. It was a pretty good effort. Um, I'll just pull that up. This was a pretty impressive effort from um, Turn Up the Night. Outside by Turn Up the Night, Maryland Bridge is fifth on the inside of Mrs. So this is Turn Up the Night, fourth on the outside. Stalking a moderate to even front end. Starts to work three wide now. Um, supreme confidence. Makes a long sustained run. This is Turn Up the Night here. Doesn't get round the corner too well. Once it straightens up, it really lets down well to put the winner away pretty quickly. Clearly superior there over the 1400 at Bathurst and um, good scope for more third up now. Fitter going to 1600 metres. Drops one and a half kilos on that win. Uh, the win at Gosford, as I said, on debut suggests there's plenty more to come. So turn up the night can be back at 11.02.9. The second one that we want to be backing here is the five, all hello tide. Uh, another lightly raced improver, very well bred, by Sava Bill out of the Encosta de Lago Mare Halloween for the John O'Shea Yard. Um, one from five, winner, two further placings. First up was good at Kembla Grange over 1,500 metres when it flashed big closing paths late. Looked the winner. Got run down by Sir Godric, who got to the better part of the track. 
Its maiden win at Kembla Grange over 1,600 on a heavy track last prep was very good. And prior to that, ran a good second at Fleur de Mon. The form out of both of these races is second at Newcastle and the Kembla Grange maiden win stack up pretty strongly. Um, and there's a lot more to come on the back of this first up second fitter now out to 1,600 metres after looking the winner. I'm just going to pull up the breeding of this one as well. Okay, by Savabil out of the Encosta de Lago Mare Halloween. She herself has got four stakes winners of six stakes races, including two full relations to this one. Hassa Halo, which is by uh, Savabil, which won the 1,000 guineas. So she won the 1,000 guineas in the Eclipse Stakes at Group 3 level over in New Zealand. And also Hassabro, which was a dual stakes winner at Group 3 and listed level as well. So... Four relations of one, two, uh, two full relations of one stakes races, four total stakes winners from the dam of this one. If you go back to the second dam as well, La Lagoon, um, she was a very smart Danehill mare in a day who won over 1,000 metres and 1,200 metres at listed level, um, the Queen Adelaide Stakes and the Quisette. Uh, so good female line, um, proven Nick. This one, lightly raced improver. This second at Kembla Grange last start, uh, when it was split, Sir Godric and more mischief, more mischief was a good effort. I'm just going to show you a quick replay of that. Okay, so this is all Hello Tide um, running second first up from a spell. It was all Hello Tide. Back behind those Melanin, more mischief. Tango Fame got caught deeper. Back behind those horses then was Sir Godric and Lysander is last and travelling strongly. So this Speed is all Hello Tide race. here. Josh Parr takes off here on Tango In Fame. Fifth. He presses forward and gets to the top now on Tango Fame. A length and a half Monty Outlander. Back third was Double Scoop and Queen Astrid's had a beautiful run. Behind those was all Hallow Tide, Melon and More Mischief. Sir Travels Godric well, moderate even tempo. Lysander. Up before the home turn, Tango Fame, 600 metres to go, held together. Leads from Monty Outlander. So back this is all Hello Tide back here scoop. in fifth. Queen Astrid's on the fence, just sweating on and out before the turn. Here he is. Behind those runners then as they enter the home straight was Melanin. And at the head of the other horses, all hello time. This one shifts Tango out on it, needs to shift out again. Queen Astrid's gone up the inside. Really comes strong late and looks the winner. This is Queen Astrid, the, um, Sir Godric, that gets it on the wire. Tide. They're right across the track here. A hundred metres to go. All Hello Tides hit the lead. More mischief and Sir Godric, the widest, is flying. All Hello Tides, Sir Godric. Sir Godric. Sir Godric arrived. I think he so that's first up over 1,500 metres. Will come on significantly for that run. Um, rises two kilos in the weights. Not too concerned about that stretching out to 1,600 fitter now. Um, expecting a new career peak. So the two that we want to be backing here are the two turn up the night, 11.02.9. And also five, all hallow tide, 16.03.7. Backing both on an each way basis for a result across the race. Thanks.